What is happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, top 10 Iron Man costumes. Let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Let's do the damn thing. Tony Stark is certainly a big spender when it comes to style. After building nearly a hundred super-powered suits over the decades, there's no doubt which Marvel superhero has the biggest suits, and man. best closet. These are the top ten suits. costumes of Iron Man throughout comic book history. Number one, the original armor. Tony's first suit might not look very stylish with its bulky form and drab gunmetal gray, but give Tony some credit. He had to build the entire suit while kidnapped in a cave with only spare parts. Yeah, what the suit lacks suit in aesthetics, right it makes up for in function with power jet boots, bulletproof plates, and weapon repelling magnets that allowed Tony Stark to escape and defeat his captors. Later, Tony gives the suit a gold paint job because billionaire's gonna billionaire. Number two, the red and gold armor. Tony Stark heads back to his workshop to streamline the armor and change up the color scheme. This new suit features lightweight red armor pieces connected by gold colored steel mesh that slips on like fabric. This suit's also compact enough to fit inside a suitcase. Talk about baggage fees. Number three, the stealth three. armor. Tony stealth dons this all black suit with striking blue highlights for his more covert missions. This armor has a built in cloaking device for flying through restricted airspace and evading enemies. Stealth, it also uh, features radar jamming tech the, and chaff yeah, grenades for disabling nearby electronics. Uh, number four, the silver centurion armor. Tony changes yeah, up his classic yeah, color scheme again by changing the traditional gold to silver. He also gives his new suit a more angular design and goes a bit overboard on the shoulder. Pads. This new suit features stronger armor, powerful jet thrusters, and also includes a chameleon effect that allows Iron Man to camouflage himself with hologram projections. Number five, the hydro armor. When underwater canisters hydro of gas armor. threaten an ecological disaster, Tony builds this hefty gold armor to survive the deepest ocean depths. This armor has a special propulsion system for traveling with speed underwater and includes a powerful chest light to illuminate the dark ocean floor. The fishbowl head allows Tony to eject from the suit in case of an emergency. Number six, the modular armor. After accumulating so many armors throughout the 90s, Tony creates this all-in-one suit that can be altered to fit the needs of any mission. The suit allows Tony to easily swap out the gloves, boots, and helmet with different weapons and gadgets. Number seven, the Hulkbuster armor. Iron Man's gear is truly put to the test when he finds himself in a battle with the Hulk. Tony attaches an extra layer of heavy-duty armor as an add-on to the modular suit to create one of the strongest armors ever. Number eight, the Thor Buster armor. This armor was gifted with Asgardian magic that makes it nearly indestructible and allows Tony to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mighty Thor. This suit's design is heavily inspired by one of Thor's strongest enemies, the Destroyer, with its helmet shape and distinctive grooves on the arms and legs. Number nine, the extremist armor. This modern redesign makes Tony's suit look more realistic than ever. With armor that resembles a military jet, it definitely can't fit into a suitcase anymore. After injecting himself with the extremist serum, Tony's body becomes physically connected to his suit. He can now store a nanotech under armor within his bones and control his entire suit and global computer systems with just his thoughts. Number 10, the prime armor. Iron Man's the next big upgrade armor. has a sleeker shape and the ability to shapeshift into any form, weapon, or color scheme. This means that Tony can go from sleek and stealthy like to full Hulkbuster in just seconds. This armor can also repair its own damage, and best of all, the entire suit fits that's inside cool. Tony's bracelet. Well, that's a wrap on our top 10 Iron Man costumes. What's your favorite suit? What busting armor should Tony challenge himself to build next? Be sure to let us know in the comments Relax below. This armor. Nice. That was pretty good, cool, man. I mean, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, Tony Stark, you know what I'm saying, he spent his time enhancing his armors and creating and creating more armors, you know, for his enemies, whoever he come whoever he uh, comes come up against, whether it's Thor, Hulk, you know what I'm saying, destroyer armor. Thanos, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just any type of strong armor that can hold up until, like, you know, for a opponent that he can go ahead, go ahead to head with. So, same thing like Batman, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Batman's a little bit different. Because, you know, hey, Batman's a fighter, though. But he will start putting on some suits just like when, you know, he better go heads over Superman or any other, you know, enhanced super soldier power people. Or superhuman people and everything, so got superhuman powers and all that. So yeah, it's, it's important to 
you know, have a backup plan, you know what I'm saying, to have some kind of some type of suit, strong suit, you know what I'm saying, a full strong armor that's enhanced that can match up to like, you know, uh crazy parallel people, you know what I'm saying? That can just destroy the world, you know. Never know. <laughs> so yeah. But this looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um pretty soon, um maybe next week or next week got um Next weekend or next weekend after, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to be seeing that uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage. So make sure to stay tuned for my review on that. Because I probably won't be able to see it this weekend, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be broke, you know, taking care of bills and rent and all that stuff. So I won't be able to see it this weekend since it's already out now. You know what I'm saying? I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on it. But, you know, at the same time, I still want to go ahead and see it for myself. So I cannot wait. So just stay tuned. Make sure you keep on hitting that bell icon and always keep on subscribing. As always, man. That's what you need to be doing. Go ahead and subscribe right now and start hitting that bell. Hit that bell icon. You know what I'm saying? So that way you can be notified every time I start uploading videos. So, but like I said, stay tuned for my review uh, later on this month. Maybe next weekend or next weekend after. You know what I'm saying? When I finally see that uh, Venom Let It Be Carnage. Cause I sure can't wait to see it. I sure can't wait to see it. So. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, post your comments down below. I really want to know what y'all think. Which one Which which one is your favorite armor, Iron Man armor that you like the most? Go ahead and post them down below in the comment section below. And uh, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit that like button. And always, subscribe it and share it. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Deuces.